Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for part two of the Ink House Mice and Books. I went ahead and finished my stained glass lead. Um, I did decide to go a little darker with it. I think I like how it makes the colors pop. Um, so it was smearing a tad bit because I ended up going in and detailing a couple things with a black liner and the ink was sitting on top. So I went ahead and I sprayed a workable fixative on top. That way it doesn't smear. You can see a couple places where it did, but I actually like it. It kind of dirties up the window a little bit. I thought that was cool. I'm looking at my stained glass window and I want to add a little bit more to it. So what I'm going to use, and I thought I'd do this on camera with you guys really quick, just in case you guys don't use these, don't know how. I had to kind of learn. People use these different. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. These are the King Art artist mixed media gel sticks. I have my little brush. I put tape on this. So if you see, this is weird. This is actually Gorilla Tape to strengthen it up. I have a strong hand and these are pretty, I don't know where they're made. I forgot to look. So I just strengthened up my handle. Plus it gives me a bigger grip with Gorilla Tape. I don't care how my tools are looking. I'm not here for them to be all shiny and pretty. I want them to work and last. So that's what I did. So I am taking Maroon GS025 King Art Media Mixed Media Gel Stick. And I've got my Karen Dash um, board my palette and I'm using the shiny side. I put a little bit onto my brush and I'm going to go in. Now remember, I have my Tim Holtz oxide ink underneath. I have sprayed on top a workable, workable fixative. So whatever is underneath is not going to be moving. Um, you can even um, put your pastels, they won't move. I've even sprayed oil paint and it really barely moves. As you know, oil paint is hard to fix to anything. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit more pop to my stained glass. And I didn't want to go back over it with more Distress Oxide. I wanted to bring in these gel sticks. I tend to use a lot of mediums in my my art. I like to mix it up. Put a little of this, a little of that, a little over here, a little over there. Um, I think it it's neat and it's fun, and then I don't get bored either. So that's definitely making it pop a little better, brighter color. So. Let's see, am I happy with the purple? Or, I'm sorry, it's the maroon. Which seemed to have matched closer to the Tim Holtz, what was it to begin with? Dusty Concord. Um, let me put a little bit more. And all I'm doing, guys, is I'm using the shiny side of the Karen Dash palette. Getting it on my brush and working it into my 
my page. Then I'm going to take, which everything's always falling all over the place because I don't have enough room for my art stuff, which do we ever. And I'm going to clean off my brush. And then I'm going to look for, oh, I guess I better clean this off too. Huh? That would be something. All right. They are water soluble, so you don't want to get it wet because it will change and move. Okay, a blue. Kind of like the tumbled glass. So, let's see. I've got a box. I put my media sticks and my stickles in here, so I just thought I'd show you so you knew what I was rummaging around in. You know what? I wonder if this pale blue, I sure use this one a lot. Goodness. I really do. I love it. That kind of looks close to the tumbled glass. Let's give it a shot. Yep. I just kind of want to make this stand out more. And like, you know, I could have went in and added some more Distress Oxide, but this is gonna give it a little bit more definition. I actually, if you wanna know, may make some people mad, wanna know the honest truth. I happen to like the King Art Gel Media gel sticks better than I like Tim Holtz ink. They're easier to work with. Um, now, if I want to do certain things with my backgrounds, well, I have to use the Tim Holtz because that's how I get those water spots. And I haven't actually tried that with these. I don't think they would work in the same way that Tim Holtz inks does, but I honestly, for backgrounds, prefer this over his inks. They're funner, they're smoother, and in my opinion, they're bolder. So, put that in your book. Okay? Okay, put that in your book. Does anybody know what movie that's from? With that ebook. All right. Us older crowds would probably know what movie that is. I'll leave that up to you. You can put it in the comments below if you know what phrase that movie is from. All right. See how this is really, really. lighting that up a little bit more than it was previously. And I actually love layering with this workable fixative. fixative. This is cool. Cool stuff. You can use a lot of different mediums over the top of each other when you use that. It's like a mixed media artist's jewel in my opinion. And that, my opinion's all that counts for me. So, you may have other favorite ways that you like that I wouldn't agree with, but they're your jewel. Well, that's mine. And these Media Art Sticks by King Art. They, 
I see a lot of videos and everyone's like, well, uh, here's a cheaper version of so-and-so and well, they're a step below. Well, I have the Faber-Castell Gelatos. These are dry, cracky, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. In my opinion, King Art did a better job than Faber-Castell, okay? So that, put that in your book too. King Art's smooth, erasable, easy to work with, doesn't crumble, isn't dry, way less expensive. I got 50, I think it was 50 of these for on sale for $32 off Amazon. Faber-Castell gelatos aren't as easy to work with. Crumble, crack, dry, and are way more expensive. Now, I don't believe that King Art King Art's products of these are anywhere a step below anything. Um, I believe it's the same way as when people are like, oh, well, I'm wearing Gucci. Well, Gucci for you. I don't care. Because the same company that made your Gucci you paid $1,000 for also made the same thing I'm wearing without the label. We call that label hose. Just saying. Y'all might not like my answer on that, but it's kind of what it is, okay? And maybe on some things, some pencils, okay? I haven't tried the polychromos yet. I'm going to, so I can see what all the hustle and bustle is as soon as I can. But I can also tell you that the same company that made those have made other pencils... And uh, those companies sell them for a little bit cheaper because they're not brand name. Now, there might be a slight difference, yes. I will know as soon as I test them out when I am able to get them. So if you're all still watching after I've said that, who knows? Um, let me know what you think. Like with the script, what is it? Scripner and Farber pencils. They're pretty cool pencils. Um, which is, comes in this set like I showed in the last video. These are awesome pencils. People want to say, well, these are oil pencils. Okay, stop it with all that. There is no oil pencil. There is no wax pencil. Pencils and you don't know what's actually technically in them, besides you know it's an oil and a wax, but their recipes are secret. So one might have more wax, hence Prismacolor, versus the oil in them and vice versa. Whatever they use, the pencils are made out of the same thing. It's just one company will put less of, of more of. You don't really have wax pencil, oil pencil. It, it just, it, it doesn't exist. And why do I know that? Because I talked to the company and they said, we really wish people would stop saying that. So I'm just saying, and just like these art and flies, these are pretty <laughs> awesome pencils too. If you like a harder lead. Um, I've seen a lot of people do demos and I only barely sleep, see a slight difference and polychromos to Faber Castell or to the um, Scripner or Farbner, however you say it, to this pencil and to that pencil. I've watched and I've watched and I've watched. I mean, the slightest difference. I'm not going to go hang my books in a window, uh, so I don't need to worry about light fast pencils because my art isn't going to be. Hang These are in books. Why am I going to go spend? hundreds of dollars on something that I don't need. I'm just saying, just putting a different perspective out there. But anyways, so I've added a little bit more color to my paper. 
And I definitely wasn't talking about just in case somebody's feelings got hurt. Um, I wasn't talking about because you have polychromos versus art and fly, you're a label ho. I was talking about the clothing. It was actually a phrase out of a movie. So don't nobody go getting hurt there. It's not what I meant. Okay, so that livened my window up a little bit. I think I like that. Beautiful, beautiful. And I think, <sighs> let me pick out something here. The next thing I'm going to do I think I might tackle the candle. Now I have gotten a little bit of um, gel pencil and ink and stuff on it, but that's fine. I don't know what color I'm going to do that actually, or what I'm going to use. Let me, let me think for a second. If you guys have any, um, if you've done this page, let me know what colors you've done, what mediums you've used, um, and what you've done different than I have. I think I'm going to go ahead and I do need to make, I might go in with some pencil and darken up some of these areas. I might, I might not, I might just leave it like this. I was thinking about taking a silver pen on top of the black and I might do that. Let's see what I've got. I'm thinking lots of things here at one time, so sorry about that. I might, oh gosh, I'm scared. I don't know what that'll do. Take a silver pen to this. Sometimes I just get these things in my head. And then you're like, well, why did you go paint all of that black? I changed my mind, maybe. And maybe not. I don't know yet. And this is just a Jelly Roll metallic silver. If I don't like it, I can wipe it right off. I have fixative on it. But I actually do like it. There lies the problem. So. Wow, yeah. So now I'm going to have to go do this um, lead again. And I'm not going to color it in perfect, actually. Not at this point that, I th that I'm thinking. Leaving a little bit of the black to be seen, kind of either like a shadow. That's what I'm thinking at the moment anyways. So what is happening at this moment, and I have to be really careful not to smear this, is I'm going to have to do a page, and then I'm going to have to use fixative, and put my fixative on there so this doesn't smear.
actually think I like that. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Mm-hmm. How much do I have in here? I have enough to do this. I'm not too sure I have any more metallic silver. I'm sure I'll have enough to finish the lead, though. It's really hard to color and talk at the same time. Especially when you're trying to stay in the lines. I don't know why being quiet helps. But it does, that's funny. Don't talk, I'm coloring. Okay, let me tilt my book up so I can see. That the light is reflecting off of it for me and making it hard for me to see. I think I actually like that. So, that is what I'm going to do for the rest of the lead. Just leaving a little bit of that black here and there in the background on this. Not using the silver in total coverage. Unless I get crazy about it, because sometimes that really bothers me. So, I guess. And then I'm going to also... I'm going to look at that real quick. Well, I like it. I think I'm gonna take, after I'm done with the silver, I'll spray it. And then I think I'm gonna come in with colored pencil and I'm gonna darken in some of the glass and put some shadow um, into it. This is definitely gonna take me a long time to, to do. Because I'm going to be adding more detail into the, the window itself. So part two, going back in with some silver. And I'll probably go back in with a little black also. And just, I'm building up layers. I like it like this, actually. And then I think... Maybe for me, before I do anything, I'm going to, before I work more on the, the glass itself, I think I'm going to go ahead and get my yellow for the candlelight onto the window before it gets too much mediums on top of it that I can't get the yellow to shine too bright. And right now, I can. Once this is dried and sprayed I'm gonna do the yellow candle and then after the after I'm happy with the window which might take me a while um, I'll probably move on to the books after that we'll see how this works out so Part two, 
I'm adding more layer to my lead. I've taken a jelly roll metallic made in Japan and I'm going to go over the window lead with this and we'll see what happens. I'm even thinking because I want this more mystical than I want it realistic in in my head because um, it's not like it's realistic for a mouse to be reading a book. I might even go in with some dragon glaze and put some sparkle in it. We'll see. That's a thought. So <clears throat> if you don't like this part that I have done by adding the metallic to the window, you can skip that part. Do it how you like it. I'm going to be adding layers onto my stained glass window. You never know, it might really turn out cool. And it might be a hot mess. But I'm trying new things. Exploring what can I do, what can I pile on top of each other, what works together, what doesn't. And I definitely want to have it different than everybody else's, that's for sure. So, we'll never know until it's finished. Things in process can look like a real hot mess for a while. But then at the end, we're like, wow, that's really cool. How'd you do that? I have no idea. So I'm going to keep going with this. I'm going to do this off camera because this is going to take a while again to re-go over this with now the metallic. So I will come back once I finish that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put the yellow for the, which I'm going to be using um, let's see which is the brightest yellow. This is yellow. I'm going to be using the gel stick King Art Lemon for the, the light. And I'll probably do the candle um, brass candle holder. And then I'll probably do a cream maybe for the, the candle or we'll figure it out as we go. I might want a blue candle. Ooh, a blue would be cool. I might do that blue. We'll have to see. Thoughts, thoughts that go through my head. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and finish putting the metallic on the rest of the window lead, and I'll see you after after that for part three.